global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. The crisis in River State seems not to have an end as a new update has just come up. Forget a few days ago, something very interesting happened. This period of protest, the protesters in River State were passing through other judge where the resident of Wiki is located. And when they, when they were passing, they were making some, some chants and all of that, which, um, you know, it was for most people a normal thing, being that he's also a politician. But guess what? Wiki's come did not take that lightly. And you get to see the message that they have sent across to Fubara right now. And uh, the whole thing is becoming more complicated than expected. We're going to give you full details of these, my colleagues in the house, and we'll be talking about their standpoint as it has to do with those protesters that walk past Wiki's house. The governor of River State, Fubara, has been accused of sponsoring the protesters who stormed Wiki's house in Port Harcourt on Wednesday, August 7, 2024, during the nationwide protest against hunger and bad governance in the country. Residents of Port Harcourt marched to the house of the immediate past governor, Yeson Wiki, who is also the minister of the Federal Capital Territory. The protesters were chanting solidarity songs and calling the minister offensive words such as Wiki only as they made their way through the street of Wiki's resident, which was surrounded by police personnel. Reacting to the incident, the former local government chairman in River State stated that Fubara does not have the level of violence they possess, threatening to deploy their men to unleash attack on Fubara's properties. The Association of Local Government of Nigeria appointed on that week a blame Fubara for the incident, accusing him of sponsoring the protesters to storm the former governor's home. Former chairman of the Mola Emuaha local government area, Dr. Shidi Lodge, stated that we are aware that he, Fubara, directed the protesters to go to the residence of the minister. We will also organize our people and go to Force Avenue, where he is building on a 32 plot of land. Enough is enough. Fubara does not have the capacity to cow anyone here. He knows it, and we know his properties and those of his chronics. All they have achieved has just been mountainous looting of rivers funds. So, he should be very careful. He wants to incite ethnic bigotry here. If what happened yesterday at Ada Judge repeats itself, Obara will not even be here to govern the state. We will not allow him to destroy all that we have achieved in the state just because he knows nothing about leadership. So the protesters should gather in the government house and ask him what he has done with the 238 billion naira he collected between May and June. Responding to the accusation, the State Commissioner for Information and Communication, Joseph Johnson, slammed the past chairman, saying they are drowning people looking for a way to crush a straw. If you ask me, they have finished their tenure and have gone by, by our own law. So what they are doing is meddling in what does not concern them. They are like ordinary citizens. If there was anything I saw along the other Joshua Road yesterday, I saw protesters who walked past the house of the FCT and I saw a full presence of police. So I don't know what they are talking about. They are drowning people looking for a way to clutch a straw. But if you ask me truly, the information I have is that they have been holding meetings. The one they held today is just the open one. They have been holding meetings, being sponsored by the former of your poor local government chairman, where they were charged to do everything to turn the protest into something that will culminate in a state of emergency. But all of but all those attempts are the missionization of the wicked. The Bible has said that it is appointed the devices of the enemy so that they will not practice their enterprise. What they are doing is like the last kick of a dying horse. Hmm. They are already gone. The court has pronounced them as such. This is very interesting. But then, a lot of people are craving to know the truth. My colleague is in the house. Do you think that Fubara was behind this act? Because I'm just wondering. Thus far, we have seen the character of Fubara and everything. Do you think he would tell the protesters to go that path?
at this rate, even the, the common person at the river, uh, streets of rivers would acknowledge and agree that Fubara is a very peaceful man. Of course. In fact, to a great extent, most, most of his uh, chair, uh, uh, CTC chairmen are like, it's not, it's, it's our, our leader wants us to be calm and all. In all his gettings, you will see even his body language depicts gentility. Very few, very few governors would agree to that um, agree, uh, sign to that agreement that the president had with him and uh, uh, former governor and president CA, uh, FCT minister Eso Miki. But he did. He honored it to an extent until he was like, no more, we can't take this. Now, if you ask me again and again, I will tell you, Fubara, in, in, with due respect, cannot, I can't see him doing that. Yeah. Why? Because he's the one ruling. He's the one governing. He wants peace. peace and in, in doing that, he's going to be... This is somebody who keeps giving him back-to-back -back issues every weekend he comes back to, to, to River State. He would always say it in most of his press releases. They have come over the weekend. They will be kata, 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 kata in River State as soon as they leave on Monday. Rivers will be calm. Who told you that he does? In fact, it's one of Fubara's ways, his calmness, that made the likes of Femi Falana told other governors to follow the cue of Fubara because of how loving he is, to the point that when the protesters were having this end bad governance, he was there, then let me give you a little something. People should be peaceful, people should be cordial. He will, in fact, his own security officers were guarding the, 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 the protesters. So if you ask me that, in fact, he was even the one saying that there's some unscrupulous elements who want to inject talks into it, but yeah. thank God for security personnel that, that stopped, stopped that whole situation. So if you ask me, I, looking at even what one or CK keeps talking, you see the way he even announces his own matter, saying if Obama wants this, he wants You just, you, you come from his speech. Lies. Sorry, cheat the lawyers, my dear. The way cheat the lawyers and one or CK them always talk, you just can perceive it. But it's actually them that are trying to instigate problems, so they will have a reason to begin to say, call for states of emergency. Mm. But if you ask me, uh, so far, thus far, uh, Fubara have been able to play it calm. I think it should just continue. Well, they just like the minister, or oh, sorry, the commissioner of information had rightly pointed out, they are gone. No matter what you do, you will not come back. I know that uh, uh, as a human being, being that uh, they have given autonomy to the local government, uh, you are just wondering 200 something million entering into your hand, what you would have done with it. So that is breaking their heart. We understand all of that, but just bear in mind that you are gone and you can never return back again as a local government so calm down just like the man said he said it is the last kick of a dying horse so they should just calm down and allow peace to reign the, the, the issues we are seeing in river state as of yesterday we heard that some hoodlums were attacking the protesters the hoodlums they came out uh, they beat up some people left them with injuries and all of that even uh, it's as bad as even the apc government uh, sorry the apc in River State, have pointed accusing fingers at uh, Fubara that he's one of those who, you know, incited the protesters to go and, you know, destroy their own property and all of that. But come on, I don't think it is true. The anger of Nigerians, generally, if you look at it, points to one set of people, which is the APC. That PDP did 16 years, but APC, just their nine gay in office, have left Nigerians with so much tears. And that's why anytime they just see anything APC, they get aggressive about it. It's not only in um, River State that we saw that. We also saw it in another part of the country. There was a, a big um, billboard that had the, you know, the picture of the current president. They climbed as far as it was. They climbed up and they tore it to pieces. Same in other places, even in ABC State. We've seen those kind of funny demonstrations because the people are not happy with the outcome of the leadership of APC. That's why they're reacting like that. I'm hopeful that uh, with uh, some of the things that are going on, um, River State will still enjoy some level of calm so that at the end of the day, we can uh, at least see a, a better future for the people of River State. That's what we would like to leave. Let's be in that conversation. Global happenings today.